Hi guys, welcome to the RPV Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about the uh, second part of uh, CS Tarnate Organic Nemo Reactions, Advanced Nemo Reaction. Now the second one is Bomford Stevens Reaction. Bomford Stevens Reaction. Okay, now we have to discuss about uh, those topics, those nano reactions which are to form the double C double bond C. Okay, so it is very uh, useful to remember the, all those reactions, all those 10 reactions. Now the second reaction it is Bamford Stephens reaction. Okay, so now here the formation of olefins from tocyl hydrozones of carbonyl compounds. Tocyl hydrozones of carbonyl compounds. Okay, in presence of a weak, in presence of weak or moderate basis, simply inorganic basis, moderate basis to converts to give olefins. To use olefins. Now here it forms the double bonds from tocyl hydrozones of carbonyl compounds. So tocyl hydrozones of carbonyl compounds. Now we have to look out to our general reaction. It is NNHTS. Now here it is a tocyl. So generally it is carbonyl compound. Carbonyl treated with tocyl hydrazine. Tocyl hydrazine. Here the elimination of water molecule it give up uh, tocyl hydrozones. It give up tocyl hydrozones okay this tocyl hydrozone in presence of weak or moderate basis weak or moderate basis it gives olefins it gives olefins now in previous cases Shapiro reaction can also give the olefin Shapiro reaction can also give the olefin now here what is the major difference between the Bomford and Stephens reaction we discussed our ending of the class ending of the class now here it a tocyl hydrozone in presence of a weak or moderate base it gives the olefins so the conditions for this reaction is conditions for this reaction here it requires a alpha hydrogen from tocyl hydrozone alpha hydrogen from Tocyl hydrozone, tocyl hydrozone. Now here it is weak or moderate basis, weak or moderate basis. Now the protic and aprotic solvents, protic and aprotic solvents. Now here it requires two types of solvents, one is protic and another one is aprotic solvents. So in presence of a protic, uh, uh, something diazonium ion is formed, in the absence of aprotic, diazonium ion cannot be formed. Okay, we will discuss each and every protic and uh, aprotic solvent differentiation in bomford stephens reaction in mechanism. We will discuss over the mechanism. Now the next point is, so bomford stephens reaction is thermodynamic controlled reaction thermodynamic control okay now here it, it at regio selectivity it is a regio selective reaction regio selective reaction now these five points which are regarding to the bomford stephens reaction conditions okay conditions and uh, like a uh, points which which was uh, involved in the reaction now we will go through the uh, mechanism mechanism so this is the reaction n n h t s n n h t s weak basis are uh, simply like n a o h k o h like a uh, uh, like a uh, strong basis uh, ethoxide sodium ethoxide medium basis like a uh, sodium ethoxide and very smaller basis weak as well as smaller basis now we, we used uh, like NaOH or Na, NH2 sodamide so those are the bases we used the base now we will get the N, N minus Ts okay here N minus ion is uh, formed n minus ion is formed so here the presence of lone pair electrons on the nitrogen it will help uh, to eliminate the tocyl group as a tocyl anion tocyl as a tocylate now it forms the 
double bond n double bond n here is positive here it is positive already it having the negative charge here already it having the negative charge which is nothing but a diazonium diazonium compound which is nothing but diazonium compound so now here the that, that diazonium compound will gives the product of alkene in two manners like in presence of a protic solvents another one is presence of a protic solvents now the first one is presence of a protic solvents protic solvent that means uh, here it gives the h plus i answer simply here the main protic solvent which is used in the bomford bomford stevens reaction is uh, thiols okay now here the best protic solvents are thiols now what will happen in presence of thiols here n plus n minus n plus n minus now here it undergoes the like a tautomerism now it forms the c minus c minus now our protic solvent can gives the h plus ion to the reactant now here this carbon ion now here it forms the carbon ion that carbon ion will abstract the proton from protic solvent now here we will get the like a h plus over there now here n n n triple bond plus over there n n n triple bond plus so simply sorry n triple bond n n triple bond n now here so it is a diazonium salt diazonium ion here it, it forms the diazonium ion so here the elimination of nitrogen why because here the nitrogen carried more than its valence that's why it is readily leaves as n2 neutral molecule so the bonded two electrons will shift towards the nitrogen atom then it becomes a negative negative and positive becomes a neutral now here the elimination of n2 molecule here creates the positive charge here creates the positive charge okay now here it forms the positive charge so here it requires at least one hydrogen atom we have discussed earlier so now that hydrogen atom okay now here that hydrogen atom can undergo the like here it, it eliminates like a h plus it eliminates like a h plus and now it forms the olefin it forms the olefin okay now here the first case thiols can give up their protons to the uh, carbon ion of diazonium compound okay that uh, the diazonium compound will use the diazonium ion that diazonium ion uh, with the elimination of n2 molecule it give up the carbocation so that carbocation in elimination of uh, hydrogen h plus ion it forms the our uh, expected uh, olefin our expected olefin now here uh, several difficulties are there to form the olefins it is a carbocation it is carbocation now here in presence of carbocation uh, adjacent groups like adjacent alkyl or aryl groups are present adjacent alkyl or aryl groups are present it will leads to the wagner mirwin rearrangement it leads to the like some rearrangement yeah, that is nothing but wagner mirwin rearrangement in case of a prota protic solvents here the wagner mirwin rearranged products is measured so uh, rearranged products gives as a major product rearranged products are major okay so this is the this is the main difficulty now we expected olefin so here also it forms the olefin but uh, rearranged olefins are rearranged uh, alkylated olefins as a major product that is the drawback in presence of uh, protic solvents in presence of uh, protic solvents now here the second case a protic solvents now the second case is a protic solvent so in, in in previous cases the protic solvents can give up their h plus ion but in case of a protic solvents there is no possibility of h plus ion there is no possibility of h plus ion now here i will go through the uh, second mechanism of uh, a protic solvents here n minus double bond here plus okay here it having the hydrogen ion that doesn't matter now the diazonium compound will forms the like a will forms the negative charge over there n triple bond n here plus so here it forms the negative charge it forms the negative charge so in previous cases and now here it is available from the h plus ion from protic solvents that's why here the negative charge will abstract the proton to to give the CH bond. Here there is no. So here absence of a proton, it, it appears as a carbon ion. It appears as a carbon ion. That's why here nitrogen elimination takes place. Whenever a negative species can again losses their two electrons, then it forms the carbene. Then it forms the carbene. Here we have the one hydrogen. 
okay so here n triple bond n here it night middle nitrogen having the positive charge now the bonded two electrons will shift towards the nitrogen atom then it becomes a negative charge if negative and positive over the middle nitrogen atom it becomes a neutral so now the neutral nitrogen will be eliminated here so it forms the it forms the it creates the carbocation carbocation and anion it give up their carbene okay now here this bonded two electron will shifted over there so two two ions will shown in the form of negative charge so after the elimination of n plus those here the, here it creates positive charge positive negative neutral those two lone pair of electrons present as it is okay now here it is like a carbene intermediate so this hydrodion it, it it gives their radical to the carbene now here it forms the uh, hydrogen now here hydrogen radical one of the uh, unpaired, one of the electron from lone pair it forms the hydrogen radical now here two unpaired electrons are there two unpaired electrons are present these two unpaired electrons can forms the double bond can forms the double bond here hydrogen from uh, second position to third position it is rearranged it is shifted it is shifted this is the mechanism in case of protic as well as aprotic solvents okay take a screenshot now we'll go through the like uh, rizio selectivity and the exceptions of the bomber stevens reaction before going to the uh, like rizio selectivity as well as uh, the exceptions of bamford stevens reaction the major difference between the protic solvent mechanism and aprotic solvent mechanism here the presence of h plus ion it, it cannot uh, it cannot forms the like a carbon ion that's why it forms the diazonium ion diazonium ion but in present in presence of aprotic solvents there is no possibility for the formation of diazonium ion here there is no possibility for the formation of diazonium ion that di uh, that absence of diazonium ion will lead to the carbene intermediate so the presence of protic solvents will leads to the carbocation so here this carbocation will give up their wagner wilvin rearranged products as a measure that is the main drawback of the protic solvents now in case here carbene intermediates uh, will give up their olefins okay somewhat better than that of uh, protic solvents now here these reactions which were synthesized in 1935 bomford and stevens okay combined they are synthesized those uh, uh, olefin formation reaction from prosyl hydrazone now the rizio selectivity of a uh, bomford stevens reaction rizio selectivity of a uh, bomford stevens reaction okay here it is a double bond double bond o here it forms the prosyl hydrazone prosyl hydrazone in presence of uh, moiluted base like sodium methoxide or sodium hydroxide or sodium uh, amide sodamide now in presence of that so here any one of them like right side alpha hydrogen or left side alpha hydrogen can be abstracted uh, from the prosyl hydrazones but uh, whenever in the presence of uh, unsymmetrical one n double bond nhts so naoh will abstract the proton from sterically more crowded side sterically more crowded side what will happen in presence of abstraction of proton from sterically more crowded side that means uh, here it creates the negative charge over there now n nhts n nhts now here it forms the like a uh, it forms the double bond over there so it forms the double bond over there so in case of uh, like a n triple bond n minus n plus okay now here it uh, it having the more substitution okay more substituted olefins are more stable so according to that point here proton abstraction takes place from the sterically more crowded side okay in according to our previous mechanism okay it is a shapiro a shapiro reaction mechanism now we have to discuss the, the based on the more substituted product uh, criteria okay now according to our previous mechanism here two types of uh, olefins are formed first one is like this now the second one is like this so in uh, in bomford stevens reaction it which is major than that of uh, this this is minor but instead of uh, any oh we used like a lda or butyl lithium we will get uh, this is the major product this is the minor product major minor okay so that that is the major difference between the like a uh, shapiro as well as bomford reaction this is the shapiro 
this is the Bomford Stephens reaction. Bomford Stephens reaction. Now, so Shapiro was introduced in 1965 without any carbocation. In previous cases, we will discuss both carbocation and carbene intermediates. Carbocation is nothing but carbenium ion, your carbene intermediates in case of Bomford Stephens reaction. Okay, but uh, without these two intermediates, we will get the olefins from prosyl hydrazone. That is the major advantage of Shapiro reaction. Major advantage of uh, Shapiro reaction. So uh, that's why uh, Shapiro reaction can use uh, used in uh, many of the organic synthesis, uh, which gives uh, a simple manner, simple laboratory method to prepare the olefins from tosyl hydrogen. So that is the major advantage of uh, uh, like a Shapiro reaction. Shapiro reaction. Now here, so according to the ratio selectivity, more substituted olefin is favored in case of uh, Bomford Stephens reaction. Now, the major difference between the Shapiro and the Bomford Stephens is now here Shapiro it is uh, it, it requires uh, excess of uh, strong bases, excess of strong bases. Here it is a uh, weak or moderate bases, weak or moderate bases. Now, the second case is now here the ratio selectivity is ratio selectivity is sterically less crowded side, sterically less crowded side. Now here sterically more crowded side, sterically more crowded side. Now the third, uh, third point is it forms the like lesser substituted which is uh, helps about a uh, uh, residual selectivity. It is a kinetically controlled product. Now here thermodynamic controlled product, thermodynamic controlled product. Now here uh, without any carbocation without any carbocation as well as carbene intermediate carbene intermediate here carbocation and carbene intermediate is present carbene intermediate is present this is the major differences between the Shapiro as well as Bomford Stephens reaction now if it is possible I, I, I will give the two of the special cases of Bomford Stephens reaction okay now those are very uh, interesting reactions from Bomford Stephens. Now here N NHTS. So like a, a cyclopropyl aldehyde tosyl hydrogen. Tosyl hydrogen of tosyl hydrogen of cyclopropyl aldehyde. Cyclopropyl aldehyde. Okay. In presence of uh, sodium methoxide it will give up uh, cyclobutane like a uh, uh, bicyclobutane as a product bicyclobutane as a product so now uh, this is the some other exceptional case and now the second exceptional now here in presence of uh, alpha beta unsaturated uh, tosyl hydrosomes alpha beta unsaturated tosyl hydrosomes here r1 r2 r3 it gives the uh, cyclopropene product uh, through the cyclopropene product through the like here R1, R3, R4, R3, okay, now here it is carbene intermediate, vinyl carbene intermediate, through the car vinyl carbene intermediate, it forms the, like, a R1, R2, R3, R4, okay, here, in the presence of, like, a, in presence of a, a alpha, beta, unsaturated tosyl hydrogens, it, it gives the cyclopropene, cyclo propene through the vinyl carbene intermediate through the vinyl carbene intermediate these are the exceptional case of bomford stevens reaction okay so uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it to your friends okay thank you for watching